Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a search bar in Scratch. So, let's get started. So, first go to the costumes and draw a search bar. If you don't know how to, watch this. So, you hold shift and make a perfect circle. Yes. And then, you can use the rectangle to to make this and then and you can put this here and then just copy paste put this over here and then uh, that's good isn't it so now you can put this to the back. Actually, no. No, that's right from. Then you have to get the black outline. Yeah. Then you have to put that there. And yeah. <coughs> Next, you have to have no outline. I mean, no feel, I mean. So you need one, I mean two, so quite like. Then just put it here, like this. And that is what Google does. This is the direction. So if you want, you can just change this here to the other direction if you like. If you want to change it to the other direction, you can. So let's just go to the next one. So now let's start coding. So when green flag clicked, it we're going so actually this changes the size first. No, 200. Yeah, that's a good size for this video. Make sure this is in the center because it'll look better. So when green flag clicked, we're going to run this script. So we're going to forever. So this is our ask loop. So so search so let's do enter your query next you need to make a block called search with one input number of text which says quiet then run without screen refresh so it one so it runs in one frame so oh now we have to go to variables and um, we're going to make a list called search apple then so searchable sorry so you have to delete all of searchable at the top of the wing with black clip then add everything you want to be able to search let's try apple And then uh, just just let's just try it with some stuff, right? Cat, dog, egg. So these are just some examples. You can do whatever you want, but in the searchable thing, you can say it to any list you already have. So next, you're going to. Uh, Put a, you did a list, so you make a list called items found. And this list will extend like this. And then you can just move the, the swipe down maybe. If you have this. 
Do you know you could like make Google with this? Yeah. So define search query. So we're first going to delete all of items found. So you might have a my variable, but if you don't, we have a variable called count. But if you already have my variable, just rename it to count. So next, you're going to set the count to zero in this, and then we're going to repeat this the length of items. So the length of searchable. So the length of the searchable items. Next, we're going to change the count by one in this loop, and then we're going to do an if item count so let's get the count contains query then we're going to add it to items found I just delete duplicate this so this should be searchable this should be searchable too so now this is our search stuff so next we're just going to put search here we can put search and in that little box and put answer and now let's try enter your google so i we can get all the stuff that has stuff yeah that's how this thing works you just so it can search items in a list so how this is actually works let me explain so these so this part is just the items that you can search yeah next this forever so it asks for you to enter your query and then the answer is what you want to so it's asked for your query and then and and it searches what you just typed in there then in the search query it will delete everything in the items found list and i'll set the count back to zero then and it'll repeat the length of search and then it'll change the count by one and then if, if item count of searchable contains query then it will just add the search the item count of searchable to items found so most projects you see that teach you how to make a search thing is quite complicated but this is just the simpler way so before I say bye, make sure to credit if you actually use this because I totally spent lots of work on this. I didn't actually copy anyone. I just thought it was just a idea that has never been done. But on Scratch, when you search for tutorials, it's just really hard. So I hope this helps and bye.